every culture has its own unique ways, including what's acceptable behavior. Familiarizing yourself with another's ideals on appropriate conduct before your visit is just good manners, especially when visiting their home. The same can be said of all wildlife, including bison. Following proper bison etiquette will ensure a safe and enjoyable experience when you visit the Texas State Bison Herd in their home here at Caprock Canyons State Park. Here's some important information we've learned about bison culture that you need to know before your next visit. Have you ever felt like someone was invading your personal space? If so, you may have felt insecure, anxious, flustered, or just generally uneasy. While a crowded elevator, for example, may trigger those feelings for us, the largest land animal in North America needs much more personal space to feel comfortable. At least 50 yards or half a football field to be exact. Not sure how close is too close? When you visit us here at Caprock Canyon State Park, first come to the visitor center and stand at the edge of the parking lot by the kiosk. Look toward the metal bison in the distance in front of you. This distance is 50 yards. While out on the trails or encountering bison in other areas of the park, a good rule of thumb is just that, the rule of thumb. To use the rule of thumb, give bison a thumbs up and stretch your arm out away from you. Now close one eye. Can you cover the bison up with your thumb? If not, you're too close and you need to back away and give the bison some room. You may be invading their personal space. In certain times in our lives, we simply just don't want to be disturbed. Whether we're trying to get some rest or we're really busy, sometimes visitors just don't come at the right time. When visiting us at Caprock Canyons, sometimes observing the bison just doesn't come at the right time either. When observing, be as quiet as possible. Be mindful of what the bison are doing. Is your presence there causing the bison to change its current behavior? If so, leave the area and come back later. This just may not be a good time for visits. Just like human mothers, mother bison are very protective of their calves. Therefore, it's always best to remain at least 50 yards away. Do you speak bison? Well, maybe not, but bison can communicate with us through signs and signals. When bison feel threatened or become agitated, they will raise their tails up in the air like a question mark. Take heed of this signal if you see it and leave the area. Have you ever heard the expression hightail it out of there? Early settlers on the Great Plains coined this term when encountering an agitated bison. Other signs of agitation or disapproval are pawing the ground, snorting, and lowering of the head. In bison culture, a head-on gaze can communicate a threat or just simply rude behavior, especially to dominant males. Never challenge a bison by ignoring these signals. Another tip for safe and respectful bison viewing is to view the bison from your vehicle whenever possible and don't get out. There's plenty of opportunity for bison viewing from your vehicle here at Caprock Canyon State Park, and since the bison feel less threatened by a vehicle than a person on foot, you're more likely to get a better view of them. Want to get the best photography shot of the bison? No worries, that can be done from your vehicle as well. Just bring your telephoto lens or use the zoom on your camera or smartphone. And remember that often the best photographs of the Texas State Bison Herd are actually done from a distance where the landscape can also be in view. Typically, no one likes a traffic jam but you may find yourself in a different type of traffic jam here at Caprock Canyon State Park. Just like us, bison use the park roadways and trails to get from one place to another, and sometimes this can cause a bison traffic jam. Observe speed limits and watch for bison traffic. If you do find yourself in a roadblock or bison traffic jam, please stay calm. 
While traffic jams can be frustrating, never honk at, push, or tailgate bison. If traffic simply isn't moving and you must get through, slowly make your way through the jam without touching or bumping the bison. However, always remember that you are the visitor so bison have the right of way. Being respectful of each other is just good manners. Knowing about and following these tips on bison etiquette is essential for your next visit to the home of the Texas State Bison Herd. Get to know the Texas State Bison Herd in a safe and respectful way. You'll be glad you did.